Hello students, my name is Gulrez Azizi and I'm your English teacher. Today we're going to read and understand the first chapter of your English book Moments. The chapter name is The Lost Child. This story is written by Mulkraj Anand who was an Indian writer. So I'll just quickly give you a brief about this story. This story is about child behavior. A child who goes to a fair with his parents and as normally all the children behave, they want to buy everything, whatever they see. And that's what that child did when he went to the fair with his parents. After some time, he got lost in that fair and he couldn't see his parents or any acquaintances. One person found him and because he was crying, so he offered him so many things. Whatever he wanted earlier, his parents to buy for him, he refused all. All he wanted his parents. So this is how normally the child behaves. So I'm going to read the chapter first and I'll explain you. I will also tell you the difficult words meanings and if there's anything will be left you can always contact and discuss about. It was the festival of spring from the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys emerged a gaily clad humanity. Some walked, some rode on horses, others sat, being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. So what's the description here is about a fair. That's a festival of spring. The word alleys mean a passage. Uh, the word galley means happily. And clad humanity, clad means wearing a particular kind of clothing. So what happened when you are celebrating a festival are going to a place um, like a fair, circus, etc. So this scene is about a fair where people wore a particular kind of uh, clothing, like colorful clothing. Some walked, some rode on horses, others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. One little boy ran between his father's legs, brimming over with life and laughter. The word brimming means full of something. It could be full of energy, full of imagination, full of energy. So full of something. One little boy ran between his father's legs. So um, you must have seen a small child when he walks with his parents, especially with father. So either he holds his finger or sometimes he holds his legs. So that's how he was walking. Come child come, called his parents as he lagged behind, fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way. So what was happening basically, he was looking everywhere because it was on the way to the fair and there were several shops, small shops um, on the roads. So he was watching everything and uh, because he was watching everything, he was lagged behind, he was left behind. So his parents called, come child come. He hurried towards his parents, his feet obedient to their call, his eyes still lingering on the receding twice. Receding means uh, it's like uh, going backward or forward. 
So he was watching and he saw toys that was uh, receding. As he came to where they had stopped to wait for him, he could not suppress the desire of his heart, even though he well knew the old cold share of refusal in their eyes. I want that toy, he pleaded. So like uh, normally children do, they request their parents to buy something. This child knew already that his father was not going to buy that toy, but still he pleaded, he requested to buy that toy for him. His father looked at him red-eyed in his familiar Terence way. His mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to hold said, look child, what is before you? Before you means in front of you. So after he was denied or he was refused by his father, his father looked at him with red eyed when you know somebody gets ang angry. So that's how his face look, looks like. His mother told him that um, to look in front of uh, him, there was something she wanted to show him. So what was that? It was a flowering mustard field, pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land. So she was basically showing him the flowering mustard field and uh, you must have seen the flowers of mustard. They look quite nice uh, in the season. They look like gold. So the writer is describing that flowers like melting gold. Pale means yellow, the yellow color. So the flowering mustard field was looking like melting gold. A group of dragonflies were bustling about on their gaudy purple wings, intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers. A group of dragonflies. Dragonflies are the um, uh, insects. What bustling? Bustling means like uh, full of activities. You could say that uh, wandering here and there, like flying here and there, everywhere. Intercepting the flight of lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers. You must be knowing that these insects, they fly over the uh, flowers and they sit over there and they drink nectars. So that's what the writer is describing here. The child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them would still its wings and rest and he would try to catch it. But it would go fluttering, flapping up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands. Then his mother gave a cautionary call, come child, come, come on to the footpath. So, like I said, that uh, his mother shown him the flowering mustard field and he was quite attracted and fascinated uh, by that. And he also saw some insects like butterfly, dragonflies and butterfly and also uh, black bees. He tried to catch them. And when he was about to catch one of them, it went flapping and flattering. That means like uh, moving its uh, wings and gone away. At the same time, his mother gave a cautionary call. Cautionary means like alerting. Come child, come, come to the footpath. He ran towards his parents' galley and walked abreast of them for a while, being, however, soon left behind, attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine. So 
as his mother called him, he ran towards his parents, galley and walked abreast. Abreast means um, it's like uh, walking together. Sometimes you are left behind, sometimes you've gone further. So that's the word, exact word, abreast. He was again left behind because he got attracted by something. What was that? There was little there were little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out. The word teeming out is um, like coming out from their hiding places. Wherever they were sitting or uh, hiding these insects, they were coming out from those places. Come child come, his parents called from the shed of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a well, he ran towards them. So again, his father, sorry, his parents called him, uh, come child, come. From the shade of grove, grove means a group of small trees. You could say like, um, look like a, a group of small trees, a plants, look, morely look like uh, bushes. And his parents, was sitting on the edge of a well. He ran toward them. A shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove, and forgetting his parents, he began to gather the raining petals in his hands. So again, what happened when his parents called him to come to the, uh, the edge of the well they, where they were sitting? As soon as he entered in that grove, what he saw, the petals of flowers, they were falling like rain. And he forgot that his parents called him already. He started gathering them. He started collecting them in his hands. Come child, come, they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree and gathering him up, they took the narrow winding uh, footpath which led to fare through the mustard field. They called him again, come child, come, who had now gone running in wild capers. Wild capers um, um, is a kind of uh, plants round the banyan tree. And gathering him up, they took the narrow Winding, um, winding footpath which lead to fair through the muster fields. And uh, now finally, they started to reach the, the destination that was uh, the fair. And um, that's all for the day. I hope you enjoyed and understood. If there is anything which you didn't understand, you can always contact me. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Have a good day.